If there is one thing that brings me comfort when someone passes over to the other side, it is that I know that that does not mean that my connection with them ends because they are not physically here. We all have angels, guardian angels, spirit guides, however you wanna classify a spirit watching over you. And the biggest takeaway here is knowing that your angels want to connect with you. So make sure you're leaving that door open and that you are welcoming their presence. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the best crystals to help you connect with your angels. I personally use these crystals in my daily life a lot. <laughs> I love connecting with my crystals and these stones really do help me gain spiritual insights and these divine messages sent from my angels. This is a subject that is near and dear to my heart. So if you are ready to connect with your angels, stay tuned because we are diving into today's video. This is your first time here. My name is Courtney and my channel is all about connecting with crystals, learning about their metaphysical benefits, and really just becoming aware of this unique energy that's available to all of us. So thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> like I said, today's video is very near and dear to my heart. I'm going to be going over six crystals that really help you connect with your angels. I'm going to be going in no particular order. Just wanted to throw it out there. And also there are a lot of crystals that help you connect with your angels. I'm not going to be listing all of them in this video. I'm going to be going based off my personal experiences and just like the really well-known crystals that help you connect with angels. So if I don't mention a crystal that maybe you connect with that helps you connect with your angels, I would love it if you comment down below what crystal that is so we all can experiment with that stone. So let's jump straight in here. The first crystal that I'm gonna be sharing with you is probably the most well-known and that is angelite. Angelite is a stone which can act as the physical representation or anchoring talisman for the energies of one's guardian angels, guides, and other friends in spirit. Angelite acts as a focal point of the connection of love, guidance, and help from the invisible ones who surround us on the earth plane. It can also help one develop sensitivities for communication with humans who have passed over to the other side. So if there was one stone that I would really recommend getting to connect with your angels, and if I'm being a little picky, <laughs> the shape, getting an angelite in the angel shape, I think is absolutely perfect. Like to add to your crystal collection, especially if you're interested in connecting with your angels. This is like the perfect crystal to get. I really, really recommend getting this one. For me personally, this acts as a totem for me. Whenever I wanna connect with my angels, I'll hold it, I will look at it. I have a special place in my home where I keep this angelite and whenever I feel like I need guidance, I need help, I need strength, you know, I'll go to where this little corner is in my home and I will pray and I will talk to my angels. There is such a strong connection that you can feel when you are connecting with angelite. It's almost like you have your immediate attention of your guardian angels when you're connecting with this stone. I use this stone so much. Like I want to almost say like almost every day I connect with this angelite. You know, I'm always talking to my angels. I'm always connecting with them. And this has just been like the perfect totem for me to instantly feel that divine love and that connection with my angels. The next crystal on this angel list is one that I love so much. It has such a sweet energy and that is Danbright. Danbright carries a high sweet frequency of angelic communion and celebration of the divine force. It is the perfect tool to use when one is open to channeling. Danbright encourages communion with higher beings and facilitates the communication of knowledge and information 
from these beings during meditation. So Dan Bright is actually known as a high vibrational stone. And I definitely notice this when I connect with Dan Bright, I just instantly feel good. And I also feel like very uppity. It, it ups my energy. I feel pretty, you know, bouncy and energetic when I am working with this stone. Another thing I've noticed about Dan Bright is that it's really great to sleep with. It helps you go to sleep. Uh, you can have really nice dreams when you sleep with Dan Bright. But again, it does help build that connection from the crown chakra up to really feel this divine force field around you. This is a wonderful crystal to also meditate with. You know, it opens up those higher chakras. If you are wondering about something or you just want to receive some some insights from your guides. This is a great stone to get quiet with. Maybe put some frequency music on and see what is being shown. You know, what are what are the messages? Where are you being taken in this meditation? Because chances are is that your angels are guiding you through this journey when you're meditating with this stone. Your angels may be showing you something visually or you might be hearing something. They're connecting with you through higher consciousness through your higher self and you can experience just a really good connection practice with your stone, with your Danbright and also with your angels. So if you're looking to meditate or try to meditate with your angels, I definitely recommend working with Danbright. The next crystal on this list is such a beauty. I love this crystal so much. I love this one in particular that I have in my personal collection because I think it's so unique and so gorgeous. And that is this Angel Phantom Quartz, also known as Amphible Quartz. Angel Phantom Quartz is usually surrounded by other crystals like Rutilated Quartz, Angelite, Celestite, which are already known for connecting with angels. And it brings this presence into the makeup of this stone. When we look at the colors of Angel Phantom Quartz, we'll see a very unique um, color palette with each stone because it's very much where the crystal is growing and how those minerals influence the growth of the Angel Phantom Quartz. The reason for the name Angel Phantom Quartz is because of the phantoms resembling angel wings. This stone powerfully activates the third eye chakra and the crown chakra along with the higher up chakras. This crystal is so beautiful, and I remember when I got this crystal, I was very much intentionally connecting with my crystals. I have a little bit of a story here. So I got this stone, I was like obsessed with it. I mean, how could you not? It's so beautiful. And my intention was really to connect with a particular angel of mine. This is an angel that passed over years ago. That was a family member. So there was a very personal, connection that I was trying to achieve with this crystal. So one night, you know, I go to sleep and I have a dream. And in my dream, I was face to face with that angel. And it was like, I knew I was dreaming because I knew this person was no longer living. And I feel like because I realized that in the dream, it made me just know that I was dreaming. And I knew like, wow, this is such a an opportunity to connect with you and I immediately hugged her and I'll never forget in my dream when I was hugging her I could smell her hair which I feel like in dreams you don't really remember the smell and I just remember I was hugging her and I was smelling her and I could smell her perfume and I was like oh my gosh this is so crazy and then I woke up and I started crying because it was just so beautiful and I just couldn't believe that I could literally smell her perfume like it was crazy to me like my angel literally visited me in my dream that was like a really big eye-opening moment for me to really understand how when you intentionally use crystals to to have a an experience to elevate your mind your body you know what have you whatever your purpose is with your work with crystals like it is so potent, it is so powerful, and having an experience like that, it just was very eye-opening and very profound. Um, so with that being said, you know, if you yourself are looking to enhance your dreams or just build a really strong connection with your angels, I had a wonderful experience with Angel Phantom Quartz, Amphible Quartz, however you want to call it. 
I think these I think these stones are very, very powerful. So I definitely recommend getting one and experimenting yourself. See if you have a dream with your angel, it could happen. Or maybe you'll receive more downloads or signs from your angels. I just think that this one is one to definitely mention on this list because I think it's super powerful. And the next stone on this list is such a favorite. I love this crystal and that is Celestite or Celestine. It could be called either name. Celestite is probably the most effective stone for accessing the angelic realm and can really facilitate communication between oneself and one's guardian angels or spirit guides. It is aligned with angelic energy and helps attract helping or positive spirits to you. Celestite is like the go-to guardian angel stone. You know, if you're looking to connect with your guardian angel, this is the stone to get. I remember getting celestite years ago and just being around this stone, you just sense the energy of angels. I think really, I don't know, you just, you just pick up on it really well with this stone, I would say. It's beautiful, it's dreamy. You know, when you're looking at it, you're visually just like, wow, this stone is so beautiful. And you just kind of feel like your angels are around you. If you know anyone who had someone pass away and you maybe want to gift them a crystal that brings them comfort, I think this is the best crystal to give for you know someone in that circumstance. You can let them know it helps them really build that connection with their guardian angels and their angels in general. So I think it's a really beautiful gift. I know from personal experience that this is a great crystal to gift. So I definitely recommend it for anyone watching out there. It's a good one. <laughs> and the next crystal on this list is Elestial Quartz. Elestial Quartz attunes most easily to the frequency of the angelic domain. Working with these stones in meditation, one may readily hear the voices of the angelic choir singing. Through this connection, one may receive a download of cosmic love, which influences every cell in the body with joy and well-being. So Elestial Quartz, I would say, it's definitely a stone that helps you connect with your angels in a clear audience way. So you could be working with Elestial Quartz and get some sort of ping, but it is like you're hearing a voice or you just can sense that there is this message coming in and you can almost hear it you're sensing it this is what clear audient means it's a it's a, a hearing thing i will say i haven't had too many experiences with celestial quartz i'm currently working on kind of like my connection practice with it i've had this stone for a little while now and i just haven't really picked it up and connected with it too much but things that i have noticed is that clear audient connection um you know, if you are seeking guidance or you need an answer about something, maybe something's going on in your life and you're trying to connect with your angels and you're trying to figure something out, <laughs> you can work with the stone, have it in your hand and just be open to receiving those messages. What are you hearing? You know, what are those first few, you know, things that pop into your head? Those can be very big signs from your angels towards the thing that you are curious about. Quartz crystals are very powerful. They are one of my favorite, you know, stones to connect with. They're just so good. And the energy with Elestial Quartz feels very, very, very good. So, you know, as you're going out in this spiritual pursuit to connect with your angels, you will feel empowered when you are holding this stone. Alrighty, and the last crystal I'm gonna be sharing with you on this list is one that is super popular and I bet a lot of people watching may already have this stone and that is selenite. Selenite can lift one's awareness to higher planes of inner experiences, making it possible for one to consciously meet one's spirit guides or guardian angels. It facilitates the experience of receiving advice and information from one's guides in the form of interior movies. Selai in general really unlocks this door to our ethereal chakras, so all the chakras above our head. Selenite is known for its purification element, for really bringing in so much light energy. It's, you know, 
probably one of the most popular crystals out there. You know, a lot of people buy selenite, they have selenite, they work with selenite daily. And a cool little thing about selenite is that it really does help with this almost like clairvoyance of seeing something, to having this vision, right? Um, meditating with selenite, you know, placing it on your spine really helps bring this like purified feeling toward your, toward your whole body. I love doing selenite, you know, meditations and cleansing with them. But you can also use selenite in meditation to really like clear out any negativity that you may be feeling and feel this divine connection, filling your body with love and good energy. This is another crystal on this list that I feel like you can sense and feel that energy pretty well when you're connecting with selenite. It just has this kind of like this, this really crisp, nice feeling to it. <laughs> you know, it feels like you are really getting like some spiritual hygiene going on, you know? If you want to connect with an angel and just feel this purity to feel like this divine, heavenly like sense in your body, that's really how I feel like selenite feels when we're connecting with it. So like I said, if there is a crystal that I did not mention on this list that you personally love to connect with to feel your angel's presence, to get divine downloads, anything in that realm, I would love it if you commented it down below. I would also love to expand my knowledge and learn what crystal that is so I can do my own experiments. So please do not be shy. Let us know down below. When we connect with our angels, it can be a very emotional thing. Like I talked about with my own stories, you know, waking up and feeling like I had just seen that person. It can be a very emotional thing. So if you do have an experience that makes you emotional, don't take it in a way that makes you feel like more sad in the situation, you know, feeling more grief. If anything, have that be a positive experience that you got to meet again or whatever the case may be. I know when it comes to connecting with people that we love so much that are no longer here, it makes us very, very emotional. All of these crystals also bring a lot of comfort towards that grief and, and towards that loss. Um, there is a feeling of hope with all of these crystals and that you are definitely not alone and you are always being watched and loved from your angels. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I loved that I was able to talk about these crystals. I love working with them and I'd love to hear which crystal was your favorite. So let me know in the comments down below. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed. Come on and check out some of my other crystal videos. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you in my next one.